So Conor Callaghan, Owen makes the ridiculous point that he's the best hurler in the country at the minute. He's not quite the best hurler in the country, is he? I mean, we've got a, there's a big difference between club and inter-county. The ceiling is incredibly high. That's a different point. That's yeah. a different point. Right now, at this moment, you said he's the best hurler in the country. Possibly. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know the answer, is yeah. the thing. We don't we know do, the answer. We do. We, like, uh, Ger, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm actually going to disappoint you on this right. as well. I was only talking about it the other day, and then the whole, well, it's club, he's only playing club. Only, I don't mean that, in a, because club is uh, extremely difficult. To me, Conor Cannon is the best hurler in Ireland right now. Now, I know the county haven't played, but it just reminds me of DJ. I remember us going to like, Gorn matches, the same, same as that. And there used to be an extra few hundred people at just their ordinary first round league games and that, just to see DJ, yeah. because when the ball comes into his space, Next minute, bzz, the whole place is just on a buzz. What's going to happen? You look at Con and ever since, the, I'm not sure about the county final, but ever since then, when the ball, that diagonal ball comes in, it's usually two man full forward line. So it's just a kind of what's going to happen next. Usually he gets the ball, goes round his man, either gets fouled or puts the ball in the net. Yeah. To me, I think he's the best hurler in Ireland. Right. He reminds me of DJ. Right, well, that is high praise. Yeah, and he can't ever get to that level because he won't be putting in the same time into his hurling. And, you know, if he was to get to play into a county, like, you know, he's not going to have the same touches that he could have if he was playing, you know, 100% of the time. So he's obviously, what, 21 turning 22 now, and the uh, the talk amongst Dublin football fans is that all the Dublin football footballers will be exclusively committed to the footballers, at least until they do five in a row, because obviously, you know... <laughs> 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 you, you say it and it says, oh, straightforward, but it's obviously not straightforward. Um, but at that point, you know, as 23, 24 year olds, him and some of his other teammates could easily decide that they want to be hurlers and hurl exclusively. So that's not too late for him to get back to a level that's really good, if not quite DJ level. Yeah, it's, this, it'll depend really on, as you said, the success of Dublin. I would nearly say the opposite. If they stay winning, the hurlers will have no chance of getting Conor Callan. Yeah. It's only if they start going through rocky patches where they're being beaten maybe in earlier rounds before other and semi-final stage. Suddenly then you could see, as, as you were saying, Anthony Cunning, we could do with him for a month. Yeah. But um, if they were betting at Leinster, whenever, whenever, maybe in July or that, and it was still a semi-final and final to play, maybe then they could bring him on. But I think as long as Dublin football are going well, you, I think it's the time that you're putting into it these days. It's like asking someone to be a professional tennis player and a professional soccer player. Very, very difficult to do, and um, I don't think, especially the way we're all bought into this team ethos at the moment, I don't think Jim Gavin would be happy to see a guy off for a few weeks, someone else training really hard, yeah. Con coming back in and, and still playing. 